And we back again. <laughs> I think I left my water bottle out there. I'll let you with the, with the customers talk about talk about something and what you're gonna interrogate me with. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. Hmm. Isn't it? Anyway, when he's back, I'm just gonna pour myself a shot of Tennessee. Spoil myself. I'm just gonna spoil myself. This is a bitch. About to say. Can I have dash with this? Water. I don't know what they call it in uh, America. What do they call it? Mix. Dash. Mix. Mm. Thank you. They call it, yeah, see, like if you look at the, uh, let's say, uh, old mixer. So you can have it, so it's supposed to be on meat or ice or with mixer. Only bitches have to with mixers. But if you're drinking like as much as we do, then I'll have some. But you have to have some mix. But have you ever noticed the old people, they always have to water? Mm. Any alcohol? You have to have it with Manzi. Mzanzi. Yeah. Manzi Mzanzi, we're in South Africa, you gotta have the water. But anyway, I woke up at uh, bro, I had such a nightmare this morning. Why? Such a nightmare. I dreamt that I was at my granny's house, and I actually messaged my cousin. Was like, she, she was with me, and uh, some weird thing was happening at uh, in my nightmare. So when I woke up, I said, "Message her," and I told her about the situation. She was like, "No, don't worry about it." She actually just told me, don't worry about it. But, in your mind? No. She literally messaged me and told me, do not worry about it. But, I woke up, before I messaged her, I woke up and I thought about the whole situation. I woke up at, at exactly half past two in the morning. This morning. I went upstairs. I, I peed. I came downstairs halfway. I said, flick at it. And in my dream, or in my nightmare, in my nightmare, before I woke up, cats were fighting. And when I woke up, the cats were literally fighting. They were beating the shit out of me. Each Are you other. serious? Bro! And I was so scared that I went and put on Daystar and Gospel Channel, and I was watching until like half past five in the morning. It was, it was it bro, so many things were running through Last my mind. Last night? This morning. Like last night. Yeah, like like last night. I also me as as well, like like uh I didn't sleep until like one but I was watching only like gospel stuff. Yes. I don't know why. Yeah. It's just like I was just watching that shit there. Like I just felt like hey let me just watch this. Mm. And I continued for like two to three hours instead of watching that movie. Mm. I watched this thing on YouTube, in like Q and A's and it's like so How does it make you feel? So much more calmer, bro. 100%. So much more calmer. Make calmer. Someone's make you feel so much more calmer. Like I I have no, nothing against any other religion. I'm just saying my personal preference, it just makes me so much more calmer because when I listen to the Christianic uh, verses or the sermons mm. from the teachers, they just it's so calm. Like so calm and before that whole night and you learn a lot too and before that whole nightmare was up i was thinking about making money being rich i was like i want to be a billionaire so freaking bad buy all of the things i never had that's what it was in my mind bro. And then after this i was like I even forgot the song, but it was such a powerful. I have to Google it. You Google it. I know you go. You're gonna cut it and you know, whatever. Do the shit with it. Nah, it's Go-go. fine. Google yeah. that shit. I just have it on standby here. Bro. Sorry, dude. Just press all these. Uh-huh. Fuck wrong one. <laughs> Just, just give us a name. Don't play it. No, I just want to. Um... Oh yeah, 
I am to worship? No, I think so. Yeah. I woke up. There's I something about God's word that just touches you, huh? Because God is real. Jesus Christ know, is bro. real. I know, I know. He's I real. I wouldn't have. You know, He's real. Is like I'm. I know it means rapture, but no, like, you know, fine. I have like a ton of tattoos on my body. Mm. Right now, and you was some other religion before you became into Christianity. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, and when I was in 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 that religion, I saw you was like, he's a Hindu. Yeah. I don't have anything against him. Hundred percent, right? But I, I was a Hindu and I converted to Christianity. I didn't know you was a Hindu, right? Yeah. right. Yeah. But at that time, I didn't really believe in that religion. Mm. You know why? I, I'll tell you the story of how I became a Christian, right? But everybody has their own belief. Yeah, no, no. Everyone has their own belief, but I'll tell you the story of how I became a Christian, right? I never believed. In Hinduism, right? It's just my personal belief, right? Mm. I didn't feel There's God's no presence in me, right? Offense towards any other. No offense, religion. no offense. Me, people may feel yes. God's presence there. Mm. I have no offense to it. But m- to me, the first day I experienced was I was, I think, what, a uh, great. One or two or something like that thing. That was what? How, how old is that? Seven. Six, six seven, right? Six, seven or eight. Or my uh, aunt, my cousins, uh, my, my mom's uh, brothers, uh, my mom's, yeah, my mom's brothers, uh, family, I used to live with them. I right? just was school at that time. And they were Christians. So I used to go to church with them every Sunday. Right? And when I used to go to church, I experienced something completely different. Mm. And then when I used to go home on the weekend, I experienced a different religion, which is completely different. And I was like, this doesn't feel anything like how I felt there, how I felt in in my inner presence there. Mm. From that time, I Mm. had a disbelief. Mm. No, that's that. It's the truth, bro. I feel like preaching the word, but anyway, carrying on, bro. No, but that, that's carry a, on. That is the truth. Yeah, like, like that. That that is my life story, right? Mm-hmm. Like how I converted, right? And I we have uh, we have friends. Yeah, who are yeah, who are, yeah. Who are Muslims we or whatever. Yeah, we have all those friends. Yeah, we don't judge them. We don't judge. I don't them. judge. Them. I'm just saying that your how personal point life, of view. Not even my personal, but how it happened. Hundred percent. Right. I felt the presence of God when I was in church. Oh, I love that. I love that. From that day when I, I was that. six, seven, I didn't even know what 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 the Bible was, what everything. But when I sat in that church, I mean, there's no at that age you don't know. You don't but know you nothing. Feel it. You feel it. So I never believed, I never believed, I never believed in what the religion I was being taught at my actual Rental home, you understand? Mm. I never believed it. Mm. Never believed it at all. Even though I had to follow the practices and rituals, I never believed in it. Right? I didn't practice. I didn't even have that. I had the Bible to read at that time. But I didn't. I I tried to learn as much as I could of my parental uh, this thing, uh, original parental uh, like guidelines. Yeah, like yeah, I sure. just like that that religion, you know, Hinduism. I I try to read as much as I can to get closer to God. You understand what, what I mean? I couldn't. Yeah, I didn't sure. get the same feeling. Mm. Right. Mm. So, I just had to play along. I played along till I was like, I think it was like twelve or thirteen, and then my parents converted. Well, it was my mom and my stepdad. They converted to Christianity. Now my father had converted a long time before before when my Christianity, Christianity before my see my, my parents were divorced when when I was very young, like I was mm. like three years or something like that there, right? My brother was very young at the time, he was still a baby. Mm. I was like three years or something when my parents divorced. And then my father and my granny from my father's side converted to Christianity. So they were Christians from a long time and they used to pray for me from that time. 
right? And I never saw them until the age of 15. Mm. I never saw my father until the age of 15. Which was recently, like. I, I'm, I'm 26 years old. 100%, which is like. Uh, it's, like uh, it's about 10 years now. 10, 11 years, yeah. So, I never seen my father since till the age of 15 because I was forbidden to do, to see them because of their beliefs and whatever thing and because this bad blood because between mother and father 100% so I didn't have that influence but I they always my granny always told me that she always prayed for me that but I would granny have granny is so pure she's so and she so was pure, she was so a pure. Hindu she's so she pure, was bruh. a Hindu she was so into it like mm. she had a temple and everything and she converted and she told me she prayed from the day she converted she mm. prayed for us mm. and today we are christians all of us and it's amazing because at that age there i knew this thing and when i got my tattoo even though we didn't go to church regularly when, I, when we converted i got my tattoo and said this is my religion. I don't care what other people say to me. And this is what I believe. Because you know why? Mm. That's where I felt the presence of God. 100%. You know what 100%. I mean? 100%. 100%. I felt the presence of God. Yeah. Mm. But in back in those days, the churches were so different compared to now. It was more about giving the word than receiving money. You understand? Mm. I've only experienced that with one pastor. I know we've been to that. Ah, I've only experienced pastor. that yes. with one pastor. Yes. And that's the only time I went to church. Mm. Remember? How was it powerful, bro? It was so powerful it's with so that powerful, pastor. so powerful, bro. What is his name? Um, I'm not going to say his name for yeah. censorship reasons. Yeah. But he was so powerful. And we so had powerful. we had a small church. We had like, what? Ten, ten, of, ten people? Ten of hey, It was so powerful, bro. It was so powerful, bro. Like, I never... That's when I got the feeling back yes, again, yes, and yes. I was like, "Yes, this." He is... never asked us for like, for like offering or nothing. Nothing. It was on our own duty, and I always put. I'm not gonna say how much I yeah, put. Yeah, I always put an offering yes. regardless. It was amazing. Eh? It was so amazing. If I didn't have money, I felt so bad. It felt so bad because he didn't ask for it. We, we didn't, didn't have, have uh, we didn't have we didn't have a church. We didn't have a church. We didn't have a school classroom. He was like renting it. He he paid from his own money he to paid. give us the food of God, and to come from where, bro? To come far from away. Far bro. away. Imagine it. It's like it's like ninety kilometers away. Yeah, it was far. It Just was to far. come for one for for three hours. I think it was two hours. Two hours or three hours. With this Whatever the case may be. Yeah. That is a man of God. That is a man of God. That is a man of God. The day he got sick, I, I was very sad. Mm. Mm. And we couldn't have church. I was very sad. That's when I stopped. Mm. I said, you know what? I'm not going to experience this with anyone else. Yeah, true. true. You're not going to experience it. When once you know you experience something and you go into a different church. It's a different situation. It's a different And you thing. see something different that's happening. I've known churches where they have actually... When you go, they take off and they take your name down. Bro, I've been to a Santon where the churches have... I'm not going to name a uh, church's name. They have literally ATMs in the church. Oh, like you have ATMs in your church. Oh my God. It's... This is this is hypocrisy. Bro, that is so That heavy, is so bro. wrong to God. It's so heavy, bro. Because, remember what Jesus said? That the lady that gave... Mm. The the one penny mm. compared to the man that gave uh, half of his yes. money. Yes. The lady gave everything she had. Everything she had. That was the most powerful thing. And God notices the the small. The small. The because, small. Because you know what? It's not about the amount. It's about the value. The value because if I gave you one penny, that's all I ever had, and I'm offering it to you. I'm giving it to you. I'm sacrificing it to you. I'm sacrificing to God. You know what I mean? I didn't the the pastor didn't ask me or the teacher didn't ask me, the priest didn't ask me to say, 
give it to me. I'm offering it to the teacher. I'm giving it to you out of the goodness of, of my, my heart. heart. I don't care what happens to me the next day because I know I'm blessed. Oh. By giving it to you, I'm already blessed. Ah. You know? ah. I know it. You know, like that's sometimes that it's powerful. That, that is why that is why when I notice when when I ask people when they go to church, how do you take offering? Right? And then they say like, um I have this other friend that mine that uh she says that um uh they actually note down they write down they write down they the write name. Down the stuff, bro. And I was like that is so wrong because that is so wrong. Like it's, in it's all levels. Totally wrong. What what about the person who didn't have money that day there and can't give the amount of this thing there? Now the part the part the priest now knows who's giving more money, who's not giving more 100%. money. You know, it, it, it's not then now he knows, okay, he's more valuable, I should pay more attention to totally him. That's wrong. Hundred percent. That's completely wrong. Mm. Because that's what the mindset of a human being will be. Mm. I'm getting my money from this person, mm. so I should pay attention. If this person leaves, I don't care about them. I'm not going to visit them in the home. Mm. You understand? Mm. That is wrong. You cannot take offering by name, tithes by name. Yeah. You can't. You can't, bro. It's their choice to give it to you because when you, that's why God gave you free will. Mm. You know, free you will. Because you're giving because you want to oh, give. Okay. And what you give is up to you and God. You mm. have to deal with it with God. You know. You know. You will you know. know. You, you know. If you could give more, you will know. That you know, the you priest know. doesn't need to know whether you you gave more or not. It's up to you and God because you have a relationship with God. Mm. You understand? Hundred mm. percent. And that is why I feel like the churches these days are so monitored. It's it's so wrong. Like I feel like if Jesus was down here, like he wouldn't accept that. Bro, what the fuck, bro? We haven't been recording. No, we have. We are recording. You serious? Yeah. What the fuck, bro? I haven't <laughs> seen that shit, bro. You need to post that shit where I haven't seen. I'll find some money. No, no, I'll put it on camera. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I haven't seen that shit, bro. But yo, I don't even know what the time is, but. Whatever we spoke about, yo, it's so true, it's so real, it's so potent, it's no, so no, on point, let's so just... whatever, bruh, it's so on point, it's whatever, it's true, it's between two friends who who have experienced stuff. Yeah, who, that's uh, true. Yeah, it's two friends who have experienced but, but that's, stuff. But that's, that's yeah. my opinion, like, like, I feel like that should never happen in a church. Mm. It should never be about money. It should be welcoming because you're seeking the food of God. We can grow. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. You know, I don't want to say more. I don't want to say less. Yes. Whatever you're saying is true. Yeah. Like, sometimes I have friends mm. that may tell me about their religion. I listen to them. Mm. But they will not change my mind. 100%. I'll listen. I'll understand their point of view. And I'll say, okay, if you believe it, do what you believe. 100%. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna condemn you in any way. It's got nothing to do with me. But what my don't inflict your beliefs on me. Mm. I won't inflict my beliefs on mm. you. But I'm gonna tell you mm. that I don't feel that is right. Mm. I'm just gonna say I don't feel that is right. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? Mm. But whatever you do. It's your choice. I'm not going to condemn you for it. Because I'm not the person that's going to judge you in the end. You are not the person that is going to be judge, uh, be the uh, judger in the end. 100%. Exactly. I'm not going to condemn you in the end. Mm. You understand? Mm. You are my friend. You're my friend, friend, yeah. So, that's, that's one of the things that I hate about the... the I don't I don't hate churches, right? I, I honestly I love churches. Mm. It's just that part about this money. It's become like a thing with churches. Yes, yes. It's become such a thing that I don't know. It's just 
we're going to speak about it in the next podcast like a specific topic or whatever cheers cheers yeah do you have anything uh, else you want to talk about uh, i'm sure you do so much, it, so much so much so much so much yeah we can do an uh, in our, in our episode 4 or something or like yeah that, i'm right? just actually thinking about it Yeah, we can skip a week, you know? Yeah. Like, because our schedules are, like, so messed yeah. up. So, we, like, let's just do it, you know? So, if you didn't know, uh, Chi is seven. We've been friends from uh, 2011. I know that time, but anyway, it's fine. Uh, you know, really. Thing. You know, people ask me, okay, um, some atheists. Like, they, like some of my atheist friends, they say, uh, why the bad in the world happen? Why did the bad in the world happen if there's a God? I say, okay, it's, it's as simple as this. Let me, let me explain this analogy, but you get your thought back, right? If you had asked me, right, why do God allow evil things to happen, right? This is my response to you, right? This is my response. God gave you free will, right? If he gives you a hand, he gave you movement, right? What I choose to do with this thing, I can choose to pick a man that fell down, up, that's goodness. I can choose to punch someone, that's evil. Now, how did God come in the picture of evil? What Kuluma. he gave you, Kuluma. what he gave you, right. you have the free will to choose that thing. Because then, it's either God created a world with no free will and direct orders, or God created the world with just good and no free will, still no free will, because you just have to be good, you wouldn't know evil, or God created the world with good and evil, with free will, so you have the opportunity to choose, that's where love comes from. Because I can be good to you, but I cannot love you. That's a messed up topic, bruh. Yeah. That's so messed up, bruh. That is, that's my, my, my yeah. response to people when I tell them. I tell them, about like, uh, I tell them, if you didn't have free will, how would, that, how would God know that you truly loved him? We talk about how would your spouse know that you truly love uh, her or him if, if I, I didn't have a choice in the matter? Talking about like Genesis one and Genesis two, bro. We, that is uh, powerful. Like like when people ask me those stupid questions. I mean, it's not stupid. I mean, I know they want to learn, but for me, in my head, I feel like it's a stupid question because if you think about God, why does He allow evil? He doesn't allow evil. When He creates things that are good, He created your arm, He created movement in your arm. What you did with it, with free will, is you created the, that sin. He did. And on the next podcast, I'm going to explain to you in detail why sin came into the world. Why sin came into the world. God created Adam and Eve. So, I'm not going to give you more detail into this. In the next podcast, we're going to explain more. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to, we're going to go in detail into that stuff. Yeah. 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 Let's get out of time. Cut it off. <laughs> Cut it off, you bitch. He wants to end the podcast now. Yeah, we're gonna end. But it. anyway, I think we exhausted for tonight. I think we've done like one and a half hours now. It's always the best. Always the best. Sitting with y'all and I'd love for y'all to guys to yeah. subscribe and like always always no, best to share stuff with y'all. They actually um most powerful like social media platform now is like TikTok. TikTok. Fuck you. No, fuck him. Fuck you. No, fuck him. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. Cheers, man. Like we'll see you on the next podcast. Cheers, guys. <laughs>